welcome to Bali. What's up, Ken? Temples everywhere. This is where I live. And this is busy, busy Chenggu. If you guys are wondering about the cowboy hat, I did not bring that from America. It's actually a Balinese merchant that just offered it to me when he heard that I came from the States. Oh yeah. This is what Chenggu looks like. It's a busy mess. There are temples and uh, ceremonial places pretty much anywhere. Anywhere you look. There's usually ceremonies held in here. These statues everywhere. This is where I buy my fruits. Really good prices. And that dude right there, the green shirt, that's my friend. I'm going to see him right now. What's up, Bryce? Oh, this is why I do my laundry. It's like dirt cheap. Yo, what's up, my dude? How are you? Okay. You good, man? Yeah, good. How's business today? <laughs> are the big selling? No? Yeah, so Ryan here makes everything by hand. All these carvings. This is his awesome little shop. He makes all of these, too. What's good, bro? <laughs> You're gonna be on the vlog. You cool with that? And look how busy it is. It's pretty crazy here, but right now I love it. I want to be right here. Yeah, Ryan is building an extension of his store where he's gonna sell his handcraft. So if you guys in Chengdu, you should come and pay him a visit. There's some star fruit on the ground. Probably just fell off the tree. This is the fruit vendor. This is where I get everything. Hi. Got some dragon fruit, some amazing avocados, mango, guava, snake fruit, pineapple, papaya. Oranges, coconut. What do you call this? What is the name of this? Mangosteen. Well, Changu has all the modern stores. Like this health and beauty store. Swimwear store. High-end coffee places. liquor stores and a whole lot of money exchange places all have exactly the same rate no matter where you go also there's a lot of stray dogs in Bali and to find the place where I live I was just walking around and stepping inside a bunch of uh, what they call homestays like this little street here I would spot a street like this and I would just walk inside. I'll check it out. As I said, there's always temples everywhere. Every home has a temple. And essentially, I would just walk in and I would find a door. I would knock on the door. There's a lock here. Rooster. This guy looks pretty protective. I wouldn't want him to attack me. Oh yeah, like see this? I would go inside, ask people if they have any rooms. 
yo, chill out, man. Chill out. And usually people respond really well. They'll just tell you, hey, I don't have a room, or they'll tell you, okay, I have a room, and they'll show you the room, tell you the rate right there, and you can decide if you want to take it or not. I probably walked inside 20 or 25 places before I found something I liked. Now this is a private villa, you can, say, you can see that the door says that, but a lot of times a place would say homestay or hotel and that's when I would actually knock on the door and ask. This street is cool, I actually never walked down here before. There's rice fields everywhere, vegetation is just gorgeous. This is probably all private, so I'm just gonna turn back. So I found a few places that offered me a room, and they were all ranging from $200 a month until $1,000, $2,000 a month, really, depending on your budget. Eventually, the place that I picked was maybe $250 a month. And it's pretty cool. I'll show you my room later. I've been doing a lot of barefoot walking. It just feels healthier. Sometimes the ground is hot or dirty. When I go home, I wash my feet. But I think my soles have been getting stronger and my feet have been getting healthier. I started doing this because I met someone jogging barefoot right here and uh, that inspired me so can I just have this in the back in the back please yes thank you how long are you in Bali I've been in Bali for two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. But uh, I have no limit. I will stay here. Oh yeah. yeah. You like Bali? Day. I love it, man. Yeah, Everyone yeah, is so this, amazing. This is good, How much is it? Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Thank you. That's seven. Thank you. Yeah. Got my papaya. That's two bungalows. You see how busy it is, as you can imagine. There's uh, quite a bit of pollution as well. But I don't think I'm gonna be in this area for that long, but I still love it. When I go inside the house, my room is super quiet. You can barely hear anything. This is a Japanese ramen shop pretty banging ramen right here but it's pretty expensive that's not what I usually eat I prefer to eat at local Balinese places and little shops just like this one here or the one after it what's up man now the food here is usually amazing really cheap they have some local delicacies here. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Yes. Good. Good. This is still closed? Yes, it's closed. All right. This is where I normally eat. I always eat here. Yeah. So I'll come back later after it opens. All right. All right, okay. see you. Yeah. Hi, kids. Okay. There's also a ton of massage and spa places. I think I'm gonna go back home now and eat my papaya. Pretty difficult to cross the road at this time of day. Alright, I'm gonna cross right after this car. Let's go.
So I'm staying right here. And this is the main house where the host lives with her children. And she was kind enough to give me a room inside with the family house. But down here is where she has her homestays and villas, where the tourists and the expats usually stay. And that's where I have access to the pool and kitchen. That's where I'm gonna go eat my papaya. I have a scooter and it's parked right here with these. But I usually prefer to walk on foot anytime I can help it. So these are the rooms where the expats live. And I have access to this area as well. And this is a little kitchen where I usually prepare and eat my food. All right, that papaya was delicious. It was perfect. I'm just gonna clean up this mess and go jump in there. Hello. This is my day. He is uh, Nadi's son, my host. Most awesome dude ever. Hello everyone. I'm still here with Butter. Yeah, awesome dude. He's my friend now, very good friend. And that is his dog, Jetsu, who's both a sweetheart and an asshole. Because if you're not careful, he will bite you. <laughs> How's your day, Madi? Good. Good? Yeah. Awesome, man. I I'm about clean. to I'm about to go swim. You go swim now? Yeah, I'm about to go swimming now. Yeah, no hot? Well, it's because it's hot that I'm going swimming. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I love it. Uh, you know, the water feels amazing. And uh, I'll get to relax a little bit. Yes. Cool myself. Okay. And I'll see you in a bit. All right.